daily devotion with Pastor Bala for June 11, 2021 from Psalm chapter 3. Save me, O my God. Yes, we have a God who saves and delivers us from our enemies. But who or what is our enemy? This psalm is thought to be written by King David as Absalom, David's own son, tried to take the kingdom away from David. Sometimes our own enemies are very close to us. So King David writes in Psalm chapter 3, verse 1, O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. Notice the attack that King David was writing about is not a military attack but a verbal one, which is focused on a spiritual battle. The attack that King David is outside of God's grace. We may have experienced similar attacks that frighten our own spiritual soul, and these attacks may even come from our own thoughts. Satan is behind these attacks wanting us to doubt God's love and forgiveness for us through our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Satan even uses our own negative thoughts against us. But notice, where does King David go when these attacks come? Verse 3, But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. David realizes that God will not abandon him, but God is our protector, even from our own negative thoughts that accuse us. Verse 4 notes that King David cries aloud to the Lord with the answer for these attacks coming from God's holy hill. You may remember yesterday in Psalm chapter 2 that the holy hill of God is a reference to Jesus the Christ's death on the cross. So when negative thoughts accuse King David, David returns to the cross of Jesus. Even though Jesus had not yet been born when King David wrote these words, but King David knew by the Holy Spirit that there would be a Savior, and King David draws great comfort from that Savior. So much comfort. Notice what David writes in verse 5. I lay down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Wow! Talk about peace and comfort in the midst of many thousand foes who have come against King David, that King David knows he can sleep in peace. God gives us that same comfort when the many thousands of thoughts attack us and try to rob us of the peace and comfort that God alone brings to us. So King David then continues, verse 7, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Yes, Jesus did defeat sin, death, and the devil on the cross to save and deliver us, even from our own negative thoughts. Satan, the great accuser, has been defeated. As St. John saw in his revelation in Revelation chapter 12, verse 10, And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night, before our God. So like King David, we can sleep in the comfort of God. As David closes this psalm in verse 8, 
Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be on your people. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. And he did on Easter morning. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.